Hi, it's Gail the Planning Girl. Welcome back to my channel. I just have a quick tip that I wanted to share with you today. I'm forever putting little notes to myself on my pages here in my planner. Uh, for example, in March, before it happens, I've got my sticky notes stuck, but I slipped in a paper here. I've slipped in a paper here with some sticky notes attached. I actually have another one I need to slip in right here. <laughs> so they get loose and they're crazy, especially little ones like this, which is the um, projects I'll be doing at school this month in my card class so that it can move with me from week to week to week. I'm actually going to use one of these um, inspo cards, which came in the pastels box and the, I'm going to call it happy vibes box. It was a notebook box that I had recently hauled from Joanne. So I'm thinking I want it to be fairly neutral to move over the course of the next few weeks. And those aren't, but these lighter ones are. And I was thinking, and that won't work. Um, I actually was thinking things to do would work. I was thinking this one, since it's kind of understated, I liked the note it and I liked this one. So I actually just finished prepping for Wednesday, but I have one, two, three, four, six weeks left of card class. And there are three, four, five, six, seven. This one's gonna be perfect. So I'm gonna put these inspo cards back. And I'm taking my current favorite pen, which is a Pilot Precise V5. The RT stands for retractable because I make messes all over myself. And I've already done these two, so I'm gonna cross this out. So the next date is 2.13. And we are going to make a quill heart. And I still have that on my Pinterest account under cards I like. And if I write cards I like, I'll know where to look for those instructions. On the 25th is our next card class. And we are going to assemble a Baby Yoda. And our next card class, we're going to do the Melting Snowman card for spring. And on the 17th, I want to do a spring card and I want to do the rainbow. Now, what does that say? Rainbow stamp, I think. Yeah, the rainbow stamp because it gives the girls a chance to color. And then on the 25th, we're going to do an Easter Bunny pillow box. With jelly beans, which means I need to buy those as well. And that is saved under card club. So I'll find the directions there in my Pinterest account. And then the last one is for one. And I found a really cute April Fool's joke, which I think they'll get a kick out of. It's called Donut Seeds. And um, I'm going to need ch probably Cheerios or Fruit Loops. I'm not sure which. Oops, it's too easy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I couldn't count earlier, I guess. And I'm also going to need the bags. So there we go, I'm all set. Now this little paper, which you know I kept worrying about losing, can be recycled. And this paper, this inspo card, I can tuck right here. Actually, today's Sunday already. I need to move forward to February. And I can tuck it here in my planner so that next weekend when I am home for the weekend and I'm looking at my to-do list, I can prep this card. 
So inspo cards, they make a fabulous extra to-do list. And again, you just pull it off and the following week I can tuck it in and I can just keep moving it with me all the way through April 1st. Well, thanks so much for joining me. If you like this tip, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.